welcome to Mr. Otter's studio. Today we are going to learn this abstract painting technique that is inspired by the beautiful agate stone. Begin by taking your palette of colors. This is just your run-of-the-mill acrylic craft paint and you're going to take a paintbrush and and paint down globs of the paint colors you want going up in a line as far up as you want your agate to go. And you can do this sporadically or in a pattern. It's really up to you. If you want, you can gleam inspiration from photos of agates. Just t go to Google and type in agates in the image search, spelled A-G-A-T-E-S. And you'll just find tons and tons of agates, just beautiful. I found an agate with pinks and purples and whites, a little bit of gold and silver, and that's where I got my inspiration for this color scheme. Now I'm cutting off a strip of cardboard. This is going to act as my makeshift palette knife, and I'm going to bring the bottom to the edge of the canvas, and then I'm going to press firmly, steady that canvas, and I'm going to drag my paint in the shape of my agate down to the other edge of the canvas. Now I want bumps and curves in my agate because that's how agates typically are. They're not perfectly circular and since this abstract painting is inspired by agates I want to stay true to that. So just go ahead and drag all your colors through and when you get to the bottom, if you want it to be the center of your agate, you can just twist the color around more circular. Now I'm going to put a little bit of gold detailing. So I've got a, a liner brush and I'm just going to drag it along some of the parts of the agate inside. And you can do this, you can either do perfect lines that follow the curves of your agate, you can do little dots, anything you want. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial so we know to keep making more like it. Also subscribe if you haven't. We've got videos coming every single week. And join Mr. Otter on Facebook. We'd love to see the projects that you create. We'd love to have you in our little art community there. And oh, we are also now on Instagram. So find Mr. Otter on Instagram, yo. <laughs> Bye.